Wynwood Island is a railway island, where the history expands from the past and into the present day, with many stories to tell. These are the stories of animals, friends, and families, and steam eastern electric locomotives who were conserved under the almighty which was Sea Lightning Railway. A time of innovation, motivation, and change. For friends, family, animals, and their adventures, and steam diesel electrics and their services. These are the stories of locomotives and their crews who work hard, who bring friendships by helping, lending a hand, and simply cheering them up, while keeping their spirits high from their adventures. These are the adventures of the Sea Lightning Railway. Episode 13 A New Engine in Town On the mainline sidings, it's all but quiet. Everything except but goods wagons, even coaches itself. But only one engine was coming into a siding. An engine was totally unknown. Stops at the siding. And on the footplate, there are six men on board. They all climbing down from the footplate themselves. Come on, boys. It's time for a take a break. They're walking through the siding door on the walls right there. Neither the six men knew that the engine was already being parked and no one knowing it what will happen next. At the signal box, the signalman saw it was all very alarming. They contacted the railway officials and railway authorities and so he contacted Daniel to see the engine. At dawn, Daniel and the railway officials came to see that engine who had been parked. Sir Daniel needs to talk with it. So your engine had been parked. Where you come from? The engine said nothing. She gave a little hard stare. I repeat that again. Where do you come from? Still not a word. Very well. If you don't speak, we don't know what you're doing here. We're gonna do it on themselves later if you don't speak. Sir Daniel, along with the railway officials, walked away, and still thinking why the engine got here on the siding. <laughs> Alfred, the B-17, was taking a local passenger train. She was traveling very nicely when she saw an engine was being parked, so she slowed down and decided to talk to her. Then 
Alfred Stoddard thought of something of her. Jada. Hmm. Jada. I thought thy name is nicer. Hmm. Alfred. Hmm, that's nice. Uh, then, uh... <gasps> then realization came into the smart boxes. Wait a minute, Jada? Alfred? It's been so long. I thought you have been scrapped during the last days in the 60s. I was, Alfred! I was withdrawn from service and was brought by some men. And I'm still here. But why are you here? I don't recall Danielle uh, to getting another engine. The two of them looked at them nervously. And Alfred puffed away without saying a goodbye. A little later, Daniel and the railway officials had returned, and doing the same thing again. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that again, and you're gonna speak right now. Where do you come from? And what was your name? But with realization with Alfred, she knew what he had to do that. So, she spoke clearly where she come from, and what was her name. Well, you see, sir, you know what my name is? My name is Jada, a Thompson B2, and I was being withdrawn from service and I was brought by some men. Oh, so your name is Jada. But how did you get here? Simple, sir. I was being brought some bunch of men when I was withdrawn from the 60s. And they decided me to put me on the secret locations so no one could find it around England. I went past through stations without anyone who seen me, and no one taking pictures of me, and no one taking videos of me. Because some bunch of men wanted to keep it a top secret, so no one could find me. And so they decided to not to find me on Windward Island right here, when I got here. Some of these bunch of men got down in my footplate and went out for a break. Right here, around this mainline siding. So that's what I get here. Wow, you have been there for many years without seeing someone in public. Hmm, these things must have stopped right now. We should take the bunch of men and we'll handle the authorities right now. But how, sir? These six men are coming back soon, you know. If they see you, they will spoil it. No worries. We need to think of something, and how we're going to stop that six men, and try to preserve you, and going to work on our own railway. At Windward City Station, Alfred told all the other engines about the engine named Hyada. So, you are saying that there's an engine on a mainline siding, right? Yeah, that's right. She used to work on the East Coast Main Line uh, until she turned herself into a... A B2? Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, that's impossible. How did these six men want to have them secret and not seen on public? Yes, these six men are up to no good and they need to be stopped right now. Florita's right, because these six group of men must be arrested and handing themselves for the authorities. Yeah, but... Um, <sighs> I don't have to say this. But Alfred, what an engine's name is? Alfred said nothing. As he uncoupled from the coaches, and he went to the sheds. <laughs> Jeez, it might be tricky to capture that these men. Uh -huh. There's going to be something that we need these thieves. The news spread all over the railway. 
All the engines heard about Alfred, about the engine, was on the mainline siding. How could an engine could come into a mainline siding without knowing it? It's because there's six men, because they want to hide something without knowing it. Especially in public. Yes, it is. But if there's only one way who can stop them... Just then... A non-streamlined coronation, Prince Daniel, came to the sheds. Now, now, ladies, calm down. What seems to be the problem? Well, Alfred told us that there's an engine named Hyada. It was on the siding. Yes, and we're still thinking how we're going to capture these thieves. Hmm, I think... I'll be catching some of these thieves. Really? How are you gonna do that? Simple. I use my headlamps as a spotlight, like a security guard in prison, and I blew my whistle that there's some intruders, like these thieves, for example. Oh, Prince Daniel, my true hero. Yeah, you're brave, Prince Daniel. <laughs> Don't mention me, girls. Great. Right now, just take good care of that out there. Thanks, Luciana. I remember it. And when his cheerful turn on his whistle, he sets off. Back at the mainline siding, Daniel was still thinking how to catch some thieves. Hmm, still not easy to do that. Yeah, never had a bird's eye view. Hmm, we don't know who's gonna stop that man. Perhaps I could do it, sir. Oh, Prince Daniel, my private engine. Are you sure you're going to do that? Yes, I'm going to do that, sir. Good. Just take care. And don't forget to look out. I understand, sir. So you must be Hyada. Yes, that's why I am. And you're Prince Daniel. Is that what your name plays, sir? Yes, indeed, Hyada. And I'm here to stop these men from you from keeping you secret. Oh wow, thanks! I didn't see you being as a private engine to stop that thieves. Yes indeed, Jada. Hopefully the man will be caught sooner. As night time came, Prince Daniel was still keeping an eye on her and also looking for the thieves. I knew that I had to catch those men. Yeah. Hopefully they will get caught soon. Yeah, I hope so. Everything was all fine. He was watching over here that we heard some footsteps on the ballast. Then he saw some men going inside the footplate. Hey, wait a second. Come on boys, it's time to go now. Yeah, let's go back to our place, to our secret hideout. A secret hideout, eh? Well, you're not going anywhere. Okay boys, it's time to go to- Ah! What? What, what happened? Oh you! What are you doing with that engine? Egg Keeper! Run! That was close. Professor, what are you doing here? And what are you doing with some guards? Not to worry, my friend. We should always have a backup. Yeah, 
It's a good thing we had captured them. And so, the six men are finally being caught. At dawn, the police had arrived, even the authorities as well. We commit no crimes, Mr. Officer, sir. Yeah, yeah, we don't do it. Yeah, we're like, yeah, 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 tell it to the judge. The three men were totally arrested by the police themselves, while the other three men was being taken by Loretta alongside the Mission Force 1 team. Soon, Diego arrives to pick up Hiada and ready to take her to the works to have an instant maintenance. I'm sorry what we did to happen ourselves, Diego. Yeah, we should have done to save the engine's life. It's fine, you two. Besides, you did a very good job capturing these men from keeping this private secret. I'll go and tell some that you finally captured from keeping secret. Yeah, that was our big effort, thanks to Prince Daniel. <laughs> It was my big effort that I had to do that. Good. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to take these engines to the works for an easy maintenance. And so, Diego popped away with Kiada to the works. By morning at the sheds, Prince Daniel and Professor told Alfred all about it. And Alfred couldn't believe his eyes. Wait, how did you do that? Simple. I used my headlamps and I blew my whistle to alert everybody. But when Professor had arrived with some railway guards, we officially captured them. Whoa. I didn't believe that you two stopped these men from hiding secrets. Exactly, but Gadada is indeed your close friend, Alfred, and she will be as a really useful vat she used to be. Yeah, you're right. She's indeed a close friend. Hm. Perhaps she will give a more chance. During the next few days, Daniel got more money from the bank in London means he had purchased Giada for as a good engine for a perfect good use and now Giada became a new member of the Sea Lightning Railway and so Giada was being designated herself as a mixed traffic that means she can pull passenger coaches even trucks as well it's good to be back to service Giada yes indeed Alfred it's good to be back to service Yes, indeed. But there's one thing, though. How did the six men was hiding from you from the public? Well, doing something without knowing it. I'm glad that the six men was now being arrested. But now I have newly set life of the railway who knows how to handle steam engines. It sure is, Jada. Welcome back, good friend. The guard blew his whistle. <laughs> And Hyada sets up with the passenger train. Although Hyada was been a close friend to Alfred, but she always do her job very best tries.